excitement is about. The pride of Germany is due here on the morning of May 6. During the 1937 season, the giant airship is scheduled to make 18 round trips from Frankfurt to Lakehurst, New Jersey. Just 150 years ago, the Montgolfier brothers, two Frenchmen, made the first controlled flight in a hot air balloon. In the gay 90s, ballooning really got off the ground. But then, at the Zeppelin Company Works in Friedrichshafen, German genius created the Airship Supreme, the Hindenburg. Her vast cathedral-like hull, almost three football fields long, is an intricate web spun from more than 10 miles of dual aluminum girders. 15 stories high, it houses 16 giant cells containing over 7 million cubic feet of hydrogen, which lifts her 242 tons of luxury into the clouds. She is the climax of man's dream to conquer the air, the new queen of the skies. Goodyear has been in the airship business about 50 years, starting around the 1920s with an airship in Florida. It's called the Mayflower. We have uh, three ships in the United States, one based in Los Angeles, Houston, Texas, and in Miami, Florida. And the fourth ship is based in Rome, Italy. We did have airships uh, Goodyear built, uh, approximately 275 of those units for use for uh, coastal defense and patrol. Uh, the Navy ships were of a much larger size than what we're using. Our ships about 200 feet long and the Navy ships were in the 300 to 400 foot category. A coastal patrol, a submarine patrol and guarding the coast, they could uh, stay on patrol station for about 48 hours without returning to base. During the convoy escort duty they had in the North Atlantic, they uh, lost uh, no ships that were guarded by airships to U-boats. Uh, ships were outdated by uh, faster aircraft that could do the same job. The long-range radar was developed and, in, and decreased the need for uh, uh, airborne surveillance. Oh, the, the company builds blimps for its uh, exclusive use. Uh, two places, the uh, envelope, which is the large uh, cigar-shaped item on top of the ship, uh, is built in Phoenix, Arizona. What's the envelope made out of? Polyester Dacron that's uh, rubber-coated. It's a two-ply fabric. The cars are refurbished back in Akron, Ohio. It has to be certified by the FAA, and since we're a manufacturing source, there does require quite a bit of certification to get something like this airborne. regulations that the FAA has uh, 
due to the unusual characteristics of airships in that if you have an engine failure you don't come screaming out of the sky uh, the regulations are somewhat different for airships than they are for aircraft you pre-flight an airship uh, the pre-flight is done by our mechanics to be truthful with you the company has presently employed 20 pilots five for each of the operations the uh, training is all done by the, the uh, pilot staff for each of the operations uh, you couldn't get any better instructors because they're all uh, pilots flying on a daily basis with, and in, instructing you in something they deal with quite closely. I was uh, seeking corporate position uh, with a major corporation and uh, this job came along and I decided to uh, give it a try and see what happens. What did you that was uh, 12 years ago and I'm still around. job of a crew chief for an airship? Uh, well, we, um, ground handling, which is uh, uh, giving hand signals to the ground crew while it's uh, landing and taking off, uh, scheduling the crew, um, making sure all the equipment's kept up, all the work's done in the most efficient amount of time. How big is your ground crew? Well, we have 16 ground crew that travel with each ship. Okay. How did you get involved with airships? Well, uh, after I got out of high school, I uh, decided to go to work. <laughs> And then uh, I, uh, I heard Goodyear was hiring, so I went down to this little little field with a little trailer on it, and I applied. And uh, there was nothing there at the time, so uh, the the guy gave me my my interview, and I came back about a week later, and the blimp was sitting out there, and I've been with him ever since. What kind of training did you have or receive? Well, uh, most of it was, it was on the job. Uh, you, you just learn through experience, basically. I went through a rigging, uh, a rigger's training, where uh, you learn to rig the cables, uh, sew fabric, and then uh, after that I was uh, promoted to crew chief, and then uh, that was on the job training, too. Uh, with, uh, with 10 years of service that, that I have, I, I picked it up uh, uh, as far as scheduling the guys and what equipment's around and what needs to be done. That was uh, just learned right here. Well, uh, I bring my family in my private vehicle. Um, most of the guys that are single are bachelors or, or the guys that don't happen to bring their families with them. They travel in, in, in our caravan with our bus and tractor trailer and, uh, and our van. What kind of maintenance has to be in, involved with an airship? Well, we do have to maintain the engines, which are done on a 50-hour and 100-hour inspections, and then uh, we have to uh, service the vehicle uh, twice a year uh, on an annual and semi-annual maintenance, and that's uh, done in a hangar where we go in and we uh, paint the bag, we uh, change engines, we um, inspect the wiring of the lights, uh, change light bulbs, uh, clean the gondola, um, change all the major and minor control cables. Uh, it, it gets quite extensive as to what's, what's to do. Any idea what the useful service life of an airship is? Well, this ship here was built in 75, and it'll uh, probably be replaced around 86. Well, the most often asked question to me is, uh, how do you get a ride on the thing? And uh, my answer is always by invitation. It's, uh, it's difficult to get everybody up. You still listening? off and I'll put two on. The reason I do that, if I took all six people off at one time, the ship's going to go up because it only weighs 50 pounds instead. Okay. So when I motion come forward, just three people approach the ladder and climb up the side. Now, if you're following someone up the ladder, make sure that person's all the way inside the car before you approach the ladder so you won't get kicked. And then uh, I'll take the other three off and I'll put the other two for the same purpose. Okay. Well, give me a low priority seat, would you? These are the... We don't person. have no, so you don't... Okay. Well, <laughs> back seat. Well, you lost that flight. Class. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you want non-smoking or smoking section? <laughs> Once we start walking out, everybody stay right together and stay on my right side, okay? Okay, follow me.
rains, we don't fly. If it snows, we don't fly. If it's a nice sunny day, we do fly. If it's too windy, we don't fly. There's several factors that come into play as far as airships are concerned. call for us to go east of the uh, Sierras. Uh, one of the major reasons being is the terrain east of the Sierras is above 3,000 feet, which uh, severely limits the operations of airships. About 6,000 feet is our operating max. Obviously our size prohibits anybody from saying they didn't see us, so uh, this is strict rules of the road. We have the right of way over all aircraft except uh, aircraft which are free flight, which would uh, be air, uh, hot air balloons, or aircraft in tow, which would be a glider or an aircraft towing a banner.
still now they've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship and uh, it's been taken a hold of down on the field by a number of men. It's starting to rain again. It, the rain had uh, slacked up a little bit. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It burst into flames. It burst into flames and it's falling. It's crazy. Watch it. Watch it. It's crazy. Terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's burning, bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast. And all the folks between that this is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's, 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 it's a place. Plenty. Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. And it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the flame is crashing to the ground. Not quite to the morning mass. All the humanity and all the passengers screaming around it. I don't do it. <laughs> I can't even talk to people whose friends are out there. It's a, it's, it's a, oh, I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. I can't. I, listen, folks, I, I'm going to have to stop for a minute because I've lost the voices. This is the worst thing I've ever witnessed.